and welcome to The Tasting Couch. My name is Will, and this is Zoe. The Tasting Couch is a super comfortable place where you can relax and enjoy fine spirits. Today we're tasting Aviation Gin. This was actually around for over a decade before Ryan Reynolds decided to partner up with the brand. It was one of my favorites then, and it still is today. The couch? Thanks for asking. It's a Love Sack sectional, the color's Venetian taupe. Let's go. Aviation American Gin. You'll always find this bottle at my house as it doesn't disappoint. You know that dilemma that comes up daily when you can't decide between a gin and tonic or a vodka soda? Well, aviation gin and soda is the answer. The gin has less of that predominant juniper taste and more of, well, in their words, adventurous blend of spices from around the world. Taking a look at this bottle and the liquid, don't go anywhere. The bottle is a solid, chunky, heavy glass. It looks like a fancy flask, yet more Art Deco. Uh, it's got solid ridges on the back and uh, a paper label on the front. It's very clean and legible. It's got a silver twist-off cap on the top with uh, like a textured grip around it. It's a great bottle. If you don't see it at the bar, look again. Sometimes it's uh, turned sideways on the back bar and it kind of gets lost back there. What does the juice look like? It's crystal clear. And the legs, they are predominant. Nice looking legs. On the nose, the aroma, what we smell. This is gin. Now I see why they call it American gin. You don't get that uh, overpowering juniper scent. The aroma is actually very pleasant without being too much of any one flavor. Yes, you do get juniper, but you also get cardamom and coriander. You get citrus orange peel, very light notes of, of lavender. Wow, that's amazing. Let's taste. Cheers. Right up front, you get a mixture of uh, all the botanicals. It's very well balanced. You not only get the juniper and the coriander and the citrus orange peel, But you get floral notes and lavender, anise. It has a soft mouthfeel. I don't get any heat. It's 84 proof. It's easy to drink and very enjoyable. On the finish, lightly sweet notes of orange peel and coriander. The juniper, it's very faint, if not uh, gone completely. The history and the process. First produced in 2006 by founders Christian Krostad and Ryan Majerian. Originally bottled in a wine bottle with a blue label. In 2013, they switched to this flask bottle. In 2016, the brand was sold to Davos Brands, and then in 2018 is when Ryan Reynolds acquired a stake from Davos. 
in 2020, it was sold to Diageo and Ryan Reynolds still maintains an ongoing ownership interest and he's doing a hell of a job promoting it. The process. They use a uh, four step process. Step one is uh, infusion, uh, eight botanicals. So cardamom, coriander, French lavender, anise seed, sarsaparilla, juniper, and two kinds of orange peel. All these are suspended in a neutral grain spirit for 18 hours. Step two is the distillation. The macerate is then poured into a still with water and heated, creating vapors that go into a cooling condenser and form the gin distillate. Step three is the cut. The heads and tails are cut. Um, only the heart is collected and that will be at uh, 142 proof. Step four is blending and bottling. You get pure water is added to the heart, bringing the gin to 84 proof, and then it is bottled. How do I drink it? I like it straight up chilled in a martini with a lemon twist. It's also great mixed with club soda or tonic water and uh, this was actually named after the aviation cocktail. It's a classic cocktail dating back to the turn of the 20th century, so it's worth trying. I'll put the recipe in the show notes below. If you got any value out of this video, please hit the like button and subscribe and follow us on Instagram at The Tasting Couch. If you've made it to here, thank you for that. But that's the show. Aviation Gin is a definite crowd pleaser. Order it when you're out at the bars or restaurants and pick up a bottle for your tasting couch. Cheers.